안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Happy Lunar New Year. Let's learn how to celebrate Lunar New Year Korean style. So what is Lunar New Year? The traditional Korean calendar follows the lunar calendar and Lunar New Year is the first day in the lunar calendar. It is one of the most important traditional Korean holidays where celebration usually lasts three days, starting the day before the actual Korean New Year. Aside from Korea, which other countries observe New Lunar New Year? Many countries in Asia observe Lunar New Year, including China, Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, Philippines, Thailand, and Mongolia. When is Lunar New Year in 2021? Friday, February 12th. So how do you say the word Lunar New Year in Korean? 설날, 설날. What is the 설날 greeting that Koreans say to each other? 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. Literally means, in the new year, receive lots of luck. What do Koreans eat on Seollal? Tteokguk, the rice cake soup. The white rice cake slices were originally in a long strand form, representing longevity. Koreans believe that only by eating this rice cake soup, one truly becomes one year older. What are some traditional Korean Seollal activities? There's Sebe, the New Year's bow. Families would gather and the younger ones do the New Year's bow to the elders of the family as a sign of respect. In return, the elders would give some words of advice, words of wisdom to the younger ones. But also, along with their words of wisdom, it's customary for the elders to give money to the younger ones. This money is called sebetun and could be placed in a red luck pouch and then handed over. I hope you can learn how to do the New Year's bow. And also maybe play the game of yunnori. This traditional game involves four wooden sticks and a game board with four pieces. The team to have all of their pieces go around the board wins. Here's a way you can learn about the history of the game and the rules of the game. And you can even make your own yut sticks, the wooden sticks, using toilet paper tubes. Another activity was yonnaligi, flying kites. It was believed that as the kites flew higher and higher, the bad spirits will fly away and the good spirits will come your way. This is a picture of chare, ancestral rites. Chare is a memorial service that prays for the peace and good health of the ancestors. Family members will dress up or wear hanbok, like I'm wearing today, and everyone will gather in front of the table prepared for the ancestral rite. Here are some meaning behind the items on the chare table. Some include bright future, love, spreading descendants, prosperity, five elements of the universe, and love and peace within the family. By the way, many of these traditional activities are also done on Chuseok, which is also known as Korean Thanksgiving in September. Here's a song that a lot of Koreans sing in the new year. The magpie symbolizes good news, so Koreans sing about the magpie on Lunar New Year Day. You can also color a Korean traditional folk art minhwa template of the tiger and magpie. The tiger represented a force that warded off evil spirits. Magpie represented bringing of the good news. It was customary to place a picture of this tiger and magpie on the front door of the house for protection and good luck. 
So in summary, please remember that Lunar New Year in Korean is 설날. 차례 is the ancestor memorial ceremony. 세배 is the New Year bow. 새해 복 많이 받으세요 is the New Year greeting. 세뱃돈 is the money that the younger ones will receive from the elders after doing the 세배. And 떡국, the rice cake soup, is a customary food for New Year's Day. So, how will you celebrate 설날 Korean style? Enjoy!